Hey guys, Rivenhead here. Welcome back to another episode of Tell Me Why. So I guess we can just head out the fire escape. Let's we'll go downstairs the right way. Well, that went better than I was afraid it would. Yep. Oh, we're I forgot we're just Tyler. <laughs> Been playing out since so much. Okay. What are you looking at up there? What happened up there? Long oh, story. Hey. You know the drill. Chin up. Yeah. Chin up, stand tall. Atta girl. <sighs> I could use a beer. It's noon. Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. <laughs> I can't be expected to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Are we I'm still on for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll text you. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go talk to him real quick. You kids be careful out there, yeah? You got it. We're heading out, right? Why is she so angry? What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we going to do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not going to do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Yep. Everything is going to be all right, okay? Yeah. You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so maybe she did feel bad for it. She did a bad, bad thing, regardless. Maybe not. Who knows? Don't know all the details of everything yet. Where is everybody? Tessa's got to be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. Yeah, that would suck. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. <laughs> I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? Okie dokie. On it. If I was to be Tessa, where would I be hiding? Right in the office. Last night's place I saw her. I think Tess is in there. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Get us waiting for hey, the school. I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <coughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, let's go for it. Don't Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely, but I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? Yeah, it was between shit. you and Tessa. 
I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. Yeah, well, How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No it's news travels time. faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Mm -hmm. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Yeah, we need the truth to heal. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened. Which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting. So, don't be late. Uh, yep, yep. I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so... Kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who her father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh... Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. That's interesting. Uh, Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Yeah, hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out? Spend the afternoon here working for free? I'd do it. Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. Yeah, I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Where'd that question about our father come from? I have no idea. Oh, I don't know. It was a weird thing to ask, I guess. Uh, hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. Should we not go? So should we just not go then? No, of course not. We're going to go. I just... I need to feel how I'm gonna feel about it right now. Okay. Yeah, that's understandable. I'm sorry for getting frustrated. It is what it is, right? Go have fun with Michael while I close the register. Okie dokie. I get to go hang out with a boy. Hopefully nothing weird happens back here. All right. I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. Okay. It's not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? Just clowning. I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one. All right. Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Moto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Moto Bene. Aye, aye. That'd be... Count. Hold on. Let me count this. So that'd be four, six, twelve, fourteen. 
There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was I easy. Yeah, I need no you to shit. count the bottles of bleach for me. Okay. Bleach. Don't drink the bleach. None of this looks like bleach. On it. That was a bleach here. I wonder what's in that box. I wonder what's in that box. Okay, well, count. Six. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. I'm getting Not good. Bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. <laughs> uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. Okie dokie. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed That's to cool. be me? Yeah, like come it. on. Look at the hair. Nailed it, right? It. No, I like it. Honestly, it's beautiful. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm not. Well, maybe a little bit, but I like it. For real. Well, it helps to have a good model. So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. A multitasker? <laughs> I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. What's wrong with that, man? That All right, fun. anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Plushies. No clues? That box over there. Uh, are you gonna make me beg for specifics? Tempting, but no. See that Bible study poster on the wall over there? That's where you should be looking. Ah, huh. you're too kind. Bible study poster? Where the hell? Wait, the Bible study poster, is that the one that looks like a glass of wine? You know, when you think about it, glass is really just tortured sand. Huh. Have you been sniffing the spray paint, Tyler? Just a little bit. Bible study. Count. So... One, two... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. See, I'm the one. Okay, in the top, I'm counting two up the top. And, and okay, let's go to the right side. There's two, four, six. I can see. Then I see seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe eleven. We'll go with eleven. Uh, you've got about eleven left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. <laughs> it was just too tempting. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Two. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? I suck at this, yeah. Ugh, I suck at this. I'd crush you if we were fishing, though. We'll have to go out to the buzzard hole to test that out. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. What the hell? 
Oh, so I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well, don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. I'm okay with this. I see you over there. Damn, overshot it. Where the hell did he go? Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Vecchi. Can't sell any of them. Cool. That's kind of fun. No harm, no foul then. I'm gonna get this one. He hasn't even thrown one at me. What's wrong with him? <laughs> gotcha. What's going on here? Oh, <laughs> man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay, I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here, let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Okay. Yikes, that's unsettling. Okay. Is that the mangy muskrat? Take it. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages. But he is very, very hot. Shit. Yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah. He's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah, yep, I see it. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. What we got here? Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. Nice. Thoughtful. That's awesome. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Oh, I'll have to fix that. That's really cool. He's a good dude. I liked him right from the start. Uh, anything else we can look at while we're here? Double checking everything. Pick these things up right now. I guess we just leave them be. We're messy, messy boys. Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or? Nah, but same clan. That's cool. Which clan? Octopus clan. Raven Moity. Huh. Badass. So, you close with everybody in the clan? Yeah, we're pretty tight-knit. I mean, we're all kind of spread out, so I don't know everyone that well, but they're still family. I was really close to my Uncle William until he passed. He's the one whose grave I want to visit. Oh, cool. yeah. Of course. And I'm done. Nice. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, <laughs> why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Fireweed. Your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah. It's fine. She asked me first. Yeah, figures. That lady is thorough, and she loves you like crazy. That's I know. Awesome. So, yeah. Uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. 
And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. Not too bad yourself. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. The hell? So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. <laughs> You have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. I can understand that. It pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly... Yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. <laughs> it's swell too. Keep the flirting going. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I've got <laughs> way better compliments than that. No, cat's but pajamas are pretty up my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. <laughs> I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. That was actually kind of fun. I liked it. And there's no harm in flirty. Guys flirting with guys. Doesn't matter if you're straight, gay, doesn't matter. Somebody finds you attractive. I always, anytime I had anybody approach me, thought I was attractive. Even, you know, I am straight. Here we are. I never took offense by it. I always take it as a compliment. Ended up with some really good friends that way. Thanks for letting me hitch a ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. But anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. Kidoki. You can't miss it. I'm going to go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. This is going to be bittersweet. You I think they've done pretty it. spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Never mind. Especially after, you know. I promise after this we can chill at the house. Cool? So I was just going to say, it's like, I really dig how they've, like, you can see that they're brother and sister or, you know, twins even. But the features are close enough, but dissimilar enough. I just think it's pretty cool. I think they've captured that very well. Hey, graves are back that way. I also like the fact that we're leaving trails so, in the snow. Did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? Go and wake the dead. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Unky see, unky do. Yeah. And I will not walk Anyway, on. have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Okay, there's something here. This is gonna be weird. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. It's true. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot, but sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. 
Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Somewhat. I can't wait to get out of this place and I don't have to hear that goddamn traffic all the time. It drives me nuts. As love transcends all boundaries, the passing of a clan member is an event felt through the community. Ah, I don't want to read that. Celebrating life. I'm in for that one. The 40-day party is observed 40 days after the passing to pay respects to the departed. Some believe it's more of a recent tradition. Family members organize a shared meal with a fire dish. One plate of food is burned to nourish the comfort the spirit of the departed. One year more from the port from the passing, a QX potluck is held to first mourn, then celebrate the life of the departed. It is hosted by the clan of the deceased. It is the honor of the departed clan member through a traditional ceremony. Show appreciation, pay debts to the opposite moiety, who supported the clan during time of mourning. Okay. To the national outlawing of native religions and ways of life, much of our knowledge of the old ways of Tlingit, Tlingit spiritual practice has been lost. But there are two everlasting examples of the love and reverence we continue to show our departed tradition of our ancestors. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue on. I thought she wasn't far from the entrance. Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. Yes, again. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branch? Total missed <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? True. Or Green? Yeah. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Let's round with that. I'm assuming this one's way old. I don't like stepping on graves, so I... Nope, I'm good. If it doesn't trigger before then, I'm okay. Here we go. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> don't tell me we missed her. That's an interesting cry. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. There's something messed up here. You really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Somebody else has been here. Do you remember where she is? No. And for what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Uh, Allison, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going! <laughs> Allison, come back! <sighs> yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't okay. have to check. Well, that's the request. I got it. Let's get this in here. Here we go. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but 
I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but... Look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. Mm -hmm. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. But I'm gonna come... Yeah, I'll be back awesome. soon, alright? Promise. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Kids. About to start. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that... You really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> <laughs> no. Maybe someday. But not today. I love their banter. It's so good. Okay, let's go talk to Tess. I'm gonna go this way. Just in case there's something here. See? Smart. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh. Rest in peace, Snowball. This spot's familiar. What do we got here? Planes in the game. Every time they get me with that. Some funky sounds in here. Ty. This this is it. Right. Yeah. Come no dice. Give me something newer. Wait, who? Okay, be it right here. Okay, which one is it? Not hers. Why can't I remember? Where is she? Wow. Only four years younger than me. Or older than me, sorry. That was... Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> God damn. You didn't have to do it all alone. Kids, I, uh, I, I wasn't expecting to see, but what are you, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? 
There you go. Fess it up, Tess. Time to fess up, Tessa. When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine? She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us! Until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. You're just being a bitch. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. Could have done better. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. That's reasonable. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. <laughs> that means a lot to me. Yeah. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm done losing people. So I know I'd feel. I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. <laughs> Oh, yeah. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow, then. We'll be there. Come on. That was rough. But I'm answering these things honestly. That was something, huh? Yeah, yeah it was. I had pretty much given up on her. But I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. Probably feels the same. I bet Tessa's thinking the same thing. Yep. 
Things are going to be real awkward my first day back in the office. No oh, shit. I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward <laughs> as hell. You want to sit down for a bit? Yeah, we can do this. And I think right here is where I'm going to end things today. Not too sure how much we got left. Um, I feel like there's going to be at least another chapter-ish bit. Um, but we'll see you in our next one. And, I, and I'm... I'm emotionally exhausted after that that was rough when she broke down crying at the grave that was just like heart-wrenching for me but anyway i'll see you guys soon in our next one take care everybody bye-bye this is a song for all the women here